Hi everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this pretty lace bonnet. So it has this really sweet lace detailing. So this bonnet can be made in baby, toddler and children's size and all of the information on how to make those sizes is included in the tutorial and written pattern. So for my bonnets I used a 4mm crochet hook and DK weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. To begin your bonnet you want to start off by making a magic circle. So to do a magic circle take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and you then want to wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross like that. You then want to take your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross and then using your crochet hook pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through. And you can then take your finger out and there we have a magic circle and we are ready to begin round one. So to begin round one you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch, this just locks our magic circle into place. So now for round one we are going to do 12 double crochets into the magic circle, so 12 double crochets. So to do a double crochet, yarn over and go down into the magic circle, then yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet and now we are going to do a second one in the exact same way and then a third and just keep going until you have 12. So there I have finished working those double crochets for round one and now to finish off this round we need to close up our magic circle and to close the magic circle you want to take this end or this tail here and simply pull this nice and tight. So pull it as tight as you can and that will close up the magic circle and there we have finished round one and we are ready to move on to round two. So we are not going to be working a slip stitch at the end of this round, we're just going to move straight on to round two. So now for round two, we are going to do two double crochets into every single stitch. So you want to go down into the first double crochet from last round. And if you're not sure which stitch to go into, then you can count back 12 stitches. So count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. And yarn over and go down into this stitch and work your first double crochet but now before we work our second double crochet down into that stitch we're going to take a stitch marker and if you don't have one of these then you can just use another piece of yarn in a different color and place it into that first stitch that we just worked and that is going to mark the first double crochet of round two and now as we are not using any slip stitches throughout our bonnet, we, use, we need to use the stitch marker to mark the first stitch of each round and then work all the way around. And then when we reach that stitch marker, we know we have come to the end of the round and we can move on to the next one. So we will be placing a stitch marker into the first double crochet of each round. So there we have done one double crochet into that stitch and we have placed our stitch marker into that one. And now we are going to do a second double crochet down into that same stitch there and then do two double crochets both into the next stitch and then two into the next 
and just keep repeating that all the way around until you reach your stitch marker. So I have finished working that all the way around for round two. So I have reached my stitch marker. So that tells me that I have come to the end of round two. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 double crochets. And if you do, we are ready to move on to round three. So to begin round three, you want to remove your stitch marker. So remove the marker. And we are going to do two double crochets both down into this first stitch here. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do your first double crochet. But now before we work our second double crochet into that stitch, we're going to take our stitch marker and place it into that stitch that we just worked. Whoops. So like that. So that is going to mark the first double crochet of round three. And now you want to yarn over and go back down into that same stitch there and work your second double crochet. So there we have done two double crochets into the first stitch and we have placed a stitch marker into the first one that we worked. And now we are going to do just one double crochet into this next stitch here. So there we have two double crochets into the first stitch and then one into the next and we're going to keep repeating that all the way around for round three. So you want to do two double crochets both into this next stitch and then one double crochet into the next and then repeat that again, two into the next like that and then do one double crochet into the next and keep repeating two one two one all the way around until you reach your stitch marker There I have worked two, one, two, one, all the way around for round three. And at the end of this round, you should have 36 double crochets. And if you do, we are ready to move on to round four. So remove your stitch marker. And for this round, we're going to do two double crochets into the first stitch here, and then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So we're doing two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around for round four. So start off by doing one double crochet into the first stitch and then place your stitch marker back down into that stitch. And then do a second double crochet down into that same stitch there. So there we have two into the first stitch and now do one double crochet into the next and one into the next. So there we have two, one, one, and just keep repeating this for round four. So there I have come to the end of round four and at the end of this round we should have 48 double crochets and now we are on to round five. So remove your stitch marker and this round follows the same pattern but in this round we're going to do two double crochets into one stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So we'll do one, one, one. So we'll do two double crochets into one stitch and then one double crochet into three stitches all the way around. So do two double crochets into the first stitch here. Remember to place the stitch marker into the first double crochet of the round. So like that, so there we have two into the first stitch with the stitch marker in the first one 
and now do one double crochet into each of the next three. So like that and just keep repeating this all the way around. Okay, so we have come to the end of round five and at the end of this round, you should have 60 stitches. And if you do, we're ready to move on to round six. So to begin this round, remove your stitch marker and we're going to do two double crochets down into the first stitch. And remember to place the stitch marker into the first one that you work. So like that, so there we have two double crochets there and now we are going to do one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So one, two, three and four, like that. And now repeat that again work two double crochets both into the next stitch and then do one double crochet into each of the next four so like that and just keep repeating that all the way around Two, one, 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 one. So there we have reached the end of that round and this is what you should have. And at the end of this round, you should have 72 double crochets. And now we are on to round seven and you can probably guess what we're going to do for this round. Start off by removing your stitch marker. And we are going to do two double crochets into one stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So we're doing two, one, 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 all the way around. So do two double crochets into the first stitch. And there I have placed my stitch marker into the first one that I worked. And now we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So there we have one, two, three, four, and lastly five. And just keep repeating that all the way around for round seven. So there we have finished working that all the way around for round seven and at the end of this round you should have 84 double crochets and now if you are making your bonnet in the baby size then you want to stop here at the end of round seven and skip on to round 10. So if you are making the baby size you want to stop at the end of round seven do not work rounds eight and nine and then move on to round 10. So stop here if you are making the baby size, but if you are making the toddler or children's size, we can now move on to round eight. So remove your stitch marker. And we are going to do two double crochets into this first stitch to begin round eight.
and place the stitch marker into the first one that you worked. Like that. And now we are going to do one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So one, 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 one. And you want to keep repeating that all the way around for round eight. Two double crochets into one stitch and then one into six. So I have finished working that all the way around for round 8 and at the end of this round we should have 96 double crochets. And now if you were making this bonnet in toddler size then you want to stop here at the end of round 8. So stop here and do not work round 9 and move on to round 10. So if you're making the toddler size stop at the end of round 8 and move on to round 10. And now if you are making the children's size, which is the biggest size that this bonnet can be made in, then you now want to move on to round nine. So remove your stitch marker. Like that. And for this round, we're going to do two double crochets into the first stitch, placing the stitch marker into the first one that we worked. like that and now you want to do one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches so one 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 and just keep repeating that for round nine work two double crochets into the next stitch then one into each of the next seven stitches then two double crochets into the next stitch then one into each of the next seven all the way around So there I have done that once and then just keep repeating that. So there I have come to the end of round 9 and at the end of this round you should have 108 double crochets. And like I said you should only have worked round 9 if you were doing the children size. So if you're doing the baby size you should have stopped at the end of round 7. The toddler size you should have stopped at the end of round 8. And then for the children size you should have worked round 9. So you should have worked all three of those rounds for the children size. And now we can move on to round 10. So for all three sizes, you now want to work round 10. So to begin this round, we're going to remove our stitch marker and we are going to work a slip stitch into this first stitch here, so into the next stitch. So go into the stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops. So we're starting round 10 with a slip stitch and now you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch and we are going to go down into this stitch that we just did a slip stitch into and work a double crochet. So yarn over, go down into this stitch and work a double crochet and we can actually get rid of our slip um, of our stitch marker now, we're not using this anymore. So we have done a double crochet into that first stitch and now you want to chain two, so chain one and two and now we're going to go back down into this stitch, the same stitch that we just did a double crochet into and work a stitch called two double crochets together. So when we do two double crochets together, we do two double crochets both into the same stitch but we are not going to complete either of them and then we're going to complete them both together at the same time. So you want to yarn over and go down into this stitch, the same stitch that we just did our double crochet into and yarn over and pull up a loop and pull through two loops. So start a double crochet but you want to 
stop here so do not complete this double crochet and move on to the next one so yarn over go back down into the same stitch pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops so there we have started a second double crochet but you do not want to complete this one either and now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook and there we have worked two double crochets together so into that first stitch there we did a double crochet chain two and then two double crochets together all into that first stitch and now we are going to skip two stitches so skip one and two and then into the next stitch here, we're going to work a single crochet. So go down into this stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook, like that. So there we have done a single crochet into that stitch, and now we're going to skip the next two stitches. So skip one and two and then into this next stitch here we are going to work our first shell and whenever we work a shell we are going to do three sets of two double crochets together with chains in between them so i'll show you how to do that now so we have done single crochet skip two stitches and then into this next stitch we're going to do a shell so you want to yarn over and go into the stitch and start to work a double crochet and then yarn over and go back down into the same stitch and start to work a second double crochet and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have done two double crochets together and now we're going to chain two so chain two and now we're going to do that again we're going to work another set of two double crochets together into the same stitch so work your second set of two double crochets together into the same stitch here like that and now chain two and now like i said for a shell we have three sets of two double crochets together with chains in between them so there we have one and two sets and we need to do that a third and final time into the same stitch so yarn over and go down into the same stitch and work two double crochets together for a third time like that so there we have worked our first shell into that stitch there so like I said for a shell we are doing three sets of two double crochets together with chains in between them so we have one set chain two then a second set chain two and then a third set all into the same stitch here for the shell and now we are going to skip the next two stitches so skip one and two and we are going to repeat that set of stitches that we just worked so from the single crochet onwards so from the single crochet up to these two stitches that we just skipped again and again and again for round 10 and the number of repeats that you will need to do will depend on what size bonnet you are making so if you are making a baby bonnet then you will need to repeat that set of stitches 11 more times so 11 more times and if you were making the toddler size then you will need to repeat that set of stitches 13 more times and if you are doing the children's size like I am here then you will need to repeat it 15 more times so 11 for the baby 13 for the toddler and 15 for the children's size so that set of stitches I'm going to go over it again in a minute but it's single crochet skip two stitches and then a shell into the next stitch and then skip two more stitches so we have done shell and then skip two stitches and now we can begin our first repeat so work a single crochet 
into this next stitch here and then skip one and two and now work a shell into the next stitch so we're going to do two double crochets together and then chain two and then do two double crochets together and this is all into the same stitch and then chain two and then do your third set of two double crochets together into the same stitch. So there we have done single crochet, skip two stitches, shell and now we're going to skip two more stitches. So there we have done our first repeat and now we are going to do that a second time. So our second repeat, so single crochet, skip one and two and then do a shell like that and then skip two stitches so remember for a shell you do three sets of two double crochets together with chain two there and there so just keep repeating that single crochet skip two stitches shell skip two stitches until you have the right number of repeats so remember for a baby you should have 11 repeats or 12 sets in total with the first one that we did and then for a toddler you should have 13 repeats or 14 sets in total with the first one that we did and then remember for a child you should have 15 repeats or 16 sets in total with the first one that we worked. So just keep repeating that. So I have finished working those repeats, so I have worked that all the way around and no matter what size you are making, you should find that you have nine stitches left at the end. So we have our last shell and then skip two and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches left at the end. So we've done our last repeat, shell, skip two, and then no matter what size you are making, into this next stitch after your last repeat, you want to work a single crochet. So do shell, skip two stitches, and then no matter what size you are making, into the next stitch after your last repeat, work a single crochet, and then skip two stitches. So skip one and two, and then into the next stitch here, we're going to work two double crochets together. Like that, then chain two, and then work one double crochet down into that same stitch like that. So we have finished off after our last repeat by doing single crochet, skip two stitches and then into this last stitch two double crochets together, chain two and then one double crochet 
and you should find that you have five stitches left one, two, three, four, five, and we are going to leave those five stitches empty. So if you have a look at the bonnet here, those stitches form this section here, so they will form the opening of the bonnet. And there we have finished round 10, and we are ready to move on to round 11. So to begin round 11, you want to chain one and turn, and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to start off by going down into this first stitch here, so the double crochet that we worked right at the end of last round, and we're going to go into this stitch and work one single crochet. And now you want to chain three, so chain one, two, and three. And we're going to skip on to this single crochet here. So the single crochet in between the shells, the first single crochet, and we're going to work a double crochet into this stitch. Like that. And now you want to chain three. And now we are going to go to the shell here, the next shell. And we're going to go into the middle of this shell, so into the second set of two double crochets together here, and work one single crochet. And then chain three. And now go to the single crochet in between the shells, so go into the single crochet and work one double crochet. And now chain three. And you want to keep repeating that all the way around for round 11. We're going to do single crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, again and again and again. And we're going to be working our single crochets into the middle of our shells from last round. So if you have a look at our shells, we have three sets of two double crochets together and you want to go into the middle one here and that is where you will work your single crochets and then chain three and then we're always going to work our double crochets into the single crochets from last round. So these little single crochets in between the shells and then chain three. So keep doing single crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, all the way around, working your single crochets into the shells and then your double crochets into the single crochet. So I have worked that all the way around for round 11. So this is what you should have. So you can see we have our single crochets, double crochets and chains. So I have done my last repeat. So I did double crochet, chain three, and then we're going to finish off by doing a single crochet into this last stitch here. So this is the first double crochet from round 10, last round. So go down into this stitch and work a single crochet. And there we have finished round 11 and we're ready to move on to round 12. So to begin this round, chain one and turn. And we are going to go down into this single crochet here from the end of last round and work a single crochet. So go down into the single crochet and work one single crochet 
And now we're going to skip on to the first double crochet here. So we're going to skip all of these chains and go straight to the double crochet and we're going to work a shell. And for this round, whenever we work a shell, we're going to do the same thing as we did in round 10. We're going to do two double crochets together three times all into the same stitch with chains in between them. So we're going to go straight to this double crochet here and yarn over, go into the stitch and work two double crochets together. And now chain two and then do two double crochets together back down into the exact same stitch, that double crochet, chain two and then do your third and final set of two double crochets together. And there we have done a shell into that double crochet in the same way as we have done before. And now you want to skip on to the next single crochet here. So skip these chains and go to the next single crochet. And we're going to work a single crochet into this one. And now you want to skip on to the next double crochet and do another shell all into this stitch. So like that and we're going to repeat that all the way around for round 12 we're going to do a single crochet into the single crochet and then a shell into the double crochet then a single crochet into the single crochet from last round and then a shell into the double crochet and just keep repeating that for round 12 I'm just coming to the end of round 12 so I have done my last shell into this double crochet at the end here and now we are going to finish off by working a single crochet into this last stitch at the end so we're going to work one last single crochet into this very last stitch or this very last single crochet at the end here so finish off with a single crochet and there we have finished round 12 and we are ready to move on to round 13. So to begin round 13 you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to start off by going down into this stitch here and we're going to work a double crochet. So work one double crochet down into this first stitch here and now you want to chain three. And then we're going to go to our first shell and we're going to go into the middle of this shell just as we did before and work a single crochet. So go into the middle of this first shell here and work one single crochet. And now you want to chain three and then move on to the next single crochet here and work one double crochet and then chain three and move on to the next shell and go into the middle of this shell and do a single crochet. So when we go into the middle, we are going into the second set of two double crochets together. And now you want to chain three again. And we're just going to keep repeating this all the way along. We're going to do double crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three.
So I'm just coming to the end of round 13. So I have done double crochet, chain three, and then single crochet into the last shell here, and then chain three. And then we're going to finish off this round by working a double crochet into the last stitch at the end. So we're going to finish off by working a double crochet into this last single crochet here. So there we have finished round 13 and we are ready to move on to round 14. So to begin round 14 you want to chain one and turn. And now round 14 is pretty much the exact same thing as round 10. So what we did down here, but it's just that the positioning of our stitches is a little bit different. So we're going to start off by working a double crochet down into this last stitch at the end here. And then you want to chain two and then do two double crochets together down into this same stitch here. So like that. So there we have worked double crochet, chain two, and then two double crochets together, all into this last stitch at the end. And now we are going to go into this next stitch here. So this is the single crochet from last round and we are going to work a single crochet into this stitch. So you want to skip these chains, we are not going to do anything with these chains and go straight to the first single crochet and work a single crochet into this stitch. And now you want to move on to the next stitch here. So this is the next double crochet, so skip the chains and into the double crochet we're going to work a shell and when we do a shell we are doing three sets of two double crochets together with chain twos between each one. So like that, so there we have done two double crochets together, chain two, two double crochets together, chain two and then two double crochets together, all into that double crochet there. And now we are going to do a single crochet into this next single crochet here. And we are just going to keep repeating that all the way along for round 14. We're going to do a shell into this next double crochet here and then a single crochet into the single crochet and then a shell into the double crochet and then a single crochet into the single crochet all the way along. So keep repeating shell single crochet, shell single crochet for round 14. And remember whenever we do a shell, we are working this all into that same double crochet. So I'm just coming to the end of round 14. So I worked my last shell and then single crochet into this last single crochet here. And now to finish off the round, we're going to do two double crochets together, then chain two, and then one double crochet into this last stitch at the end here. So yarn over and go down into the last stitch 
and work two double crochets together and then chain two and then work one double crochet and there we have finished round 14 so we did single crochet shell single crochet and then two double crochets together chain two and then double crochet into this last stitch at the end so there we have come to the end of round 14 and now for the rest of our bonnet so for the rest of the length of the bonnet you just want to repeat rounds 11 through to 14 again and again until you have the size that you want so we have just finished round 14 so now you want to repeat round 11 and then 12 then 13 and then 14 and then rounds 11 12 13 14 until you have the size that you want and you can go back in the video and re-watch those rounds as many times as you need to so here i have the toddler size bonnet so this is the toddler size and i have repeated each of those rounds two times so i came to the end of round 14 which is where we are now and then i did rounds 11 12 13 14 11 12 13 14 for the toddler size and i would recommend doing two repeats like that for the toddler size and the child size so do two repeats of each round for the toddler and child size and then for the baby size, I would recommend doing one repeat, or if you would like it to be a little bit longer, you could do one and a half. So you could do rounds 11, 12, 13, and 14 again, and then just repeat rounds 11 and 12. And that way you will still finish by having this pretty edge at the end if you finish on round 12. But you can do as many repeats as you like. But I would recommend doing two repeats for the two biggest sizes and then one to one and a half repeats for the baby size. And then once you get to the end of your last repeat, you want to add your chains or your ties. So when you get to the end of your last repeat, make a chain nice and neatly like I did. And I chained 60. And then when you get to the end, fasten off and then tie a knot at the end. And then weave that end back into the chain. And then attach your yarn onto the opposite side and do the same thing, making sure that your chain is the same length. And then you can weave all of your ends nice and securely into the inside of your hat. And before you weave this end here with a magic circle, make sure that you pull it nice and tight and then weave it into the inside. And there we have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find the written pattern for this bonnet. And in the description box, I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter accounts. So I always like to post updates and pictures on there, especially Instagram. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on there as well. And thank you again for watching. Bye.